To start off with, hello, my name is Michaela. This is Mikula Reeds. I live here. You can hear the bird having a little grumble tantrum in the background. He's trying to eat sunflower seeds and there are none. Anywho, I'm here as your tour guide to explain what happened this week because this video makes no sense otherwise. Initially, the premise of this video was going to be it was my birthday and we were reading too many books and so we were gonna read the books throughout my birthday and then the subsequent Easter long weekend. But the plans did not plan as planned and we did not do that at all. So to kick us off, we started at Tuesday. Tuesday was my birthday and Jared decided this year instead of wrapping my presents, he hid them. And so I had to find them. We had grand plans to go out for breakfast and hang out and just have a really lovely day. I was going to go out for dinner with a friend. And then Jared came down with the worst case of a tonsillitis that I have seen. He was delirious with fever and we spent most of the day in hospital. I managed to read a fair bit in hospital. I ended up reading some of Priory of the Orange Tree and then most of a man called Ove, which I was reading as a birthday book swap with Blair, one of my bookish friends from Instagram. And then we came home and I finished A Man Called Ove and it broke me. And thus we wrapped up the night. Flash forward to Saturday. We had birthday 2.0. We just postponed it a day. We went out for breakfast. I got to do all the things I wanted to do, but we then ended up spending a majority of the day with Jared's family, which was lovely and fun. And we went caterpillar hunting and it was a good time. Hi, it is Saturday and we're doing birthday take two because Tuesday did not go to plan. We are late currently, so future Michaela will update you with what is happening <laughs> this week. Flash forward again, and it's Easter Sunday. And again, grand plans, reading all day, catching up on the five books that I was reading that past Michaela is going to tell you about in a second. We once again spent the day with family and it was lovely and fun. But after that, I did get to come home and spend some quality time with you. And then we kicked off the weekend in a classic Michaela Reed's household style. Hello, it has been a few days. Happy Easter. It is quarter to six and I'm finally getting to sit down and start doing as much reading as I want to do. What are we reading you ask? That is a great question. They are the same books that I have been reading for the last three weeks because for some reason I keep thinking yeah I can just start another book. I have the room in my brain to start another book. This is fine. And then I end up not finishing any of the books that I have started reading. So we're currently in the middle of five books. So let's sort them out. I'm going to soft DNF star side. It's happening. It's going down. 
just don't have the space for it at the minute. I'm halfway through Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. I want to finish this tonight. I need it done. I need it gone. We're going to finish it. We have many hours. I'm halfway through. We're going to read this. If I Never Met You is a book that I have to read by the 27th of April. So this is next up on the physical reading of a complete book. So that's, that's next. I will be making progress. I have no delusions to thinking that I can actually finish Priory of the Orange Tree. I'm this far through it. Page 100. I'm slowly understanding what is happening. So we'll make a bit of progress on this tonight and tomorrow as well. I'm listening to Crush, which is the second book in the Crave series by Tracy Wolf. I listened to the first one as a joke to just fill my brain with brain dead entertainment and I'm hooked and I have to keep listening. So I'm listening to the second one. It's just my in-between doing things entertainment. It's really, really easy to listen to. However, I just need some serotonin. I just need to be a little bit happy right now. And so instead of tackling all of the books that I've just told you about, I'm going to sit down and read The Moth Keeper. I, ju I just need to. I need to read it. That's it. I have no other explanation. I'm just going to read this. So while my video is rendering, while the sun is slowly setting, we're going to sit down and read The Moth Keeper for a little bit. And then we'll just see where the night ends up. We'll just see. Also, side note, for my birthday, oh my god, here we go. I got a microphone. So that's another thing on my to-do list tonight, is to figure out how to connect my microphone that I have to you so that I sound better than what I sound like right now. Actually, I wonder if I can. Aha, we're on. Okay, now we press. Record. Do we sound any better? Are we professional? Is she a real YouTuber now? Is that is that what this is? This is very exciting. Okay, I'm going to go figure out how to use this properly, and then I'll be back here to read this book and tell you about it. It's nine o'clock. We have started and finished within one sitting The Moth Keeper. This is one of my new favorite books that I have ever read. The art style, the storyline, the moths. I have no complaints. I have none. This was beautiful. I loved it so much and I will probably read it again very soon. If this is not one of the most beautiful graphic novels that I have read, I don't know what is. This was perfect. This is exactly what I needed to kickstart my momentum for the night. We also made some progress, finally, on the Priory of the Orange Tree. I'm this far through. I'm at page 150. I'm now waiting for Kirsty to catch up or to let me know if she's here because it's taken me days to get here. One thing that has stood out to me so far is that the imagery and the world building has been beautiful and it's really easy for me to imagine where we are, what's happening, what everything looks like. It is hard work to try and keep up with the characters and who is who and where they are. So far, one of my favorite characters is probably Kit who's off gallivanting with Loth somewhere. Eid is also great. I think I'm going to really enjoy her storyline. I don't like the queen. Am I supposed to like the queen? But I mean, I'm only 150 pages in and we've really just been introduced to the conflict. So I can imagine that that will change at some point. But again, with that being said, I've done my duty for the Priory of the Orange Tree today. We are going to sit down and try to at least, at least make it another quarter of the way through Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. I just need it done.
At this point, I had a day. I had every intention to follow through with my plans, read all weekend, get through my current reading list. However, we had a moment of following the dopamine. We have to, otherwise things don't get done. And ended up completing a task that I have had on my list of things to do for the house since we moved in two and a half years ago. <laughs> So, I'm talking to you over here because I can, but also I'm referring to my vampire shelf because I want to tell you about the Crave series that I'm listening to right now because it is so ridiculous, it's so ridiculous that it's addictive and I haven't had this kind of trashy addictive in a while. Crave is essentially a Twilight rebrand for this generation, inclusive of technology upgrades, diversity upgrades, inclusion of other supernatural beings, which is also cool, but it is genuinely so trashy that I love it. The premise of this series is Grace is a teenager and her parents die because they drove off a cliff, question mark, and she gets sent to attend her uncle's private academy in remote Alaska. For the first couple of days, she just rocks around. She's like, man, this place is weird, but like thinks nothing of it. Also, side note, the author, Tracy Wolf, has this self-awareness writing for the series. She just puts things in there, just acknowledging how ridiculous the plot twists and the tropes of general books are. There's one point at which the main character gets given Twilight to read, which is an adorable Adorable little homage because it's absolutely a Twilight rebrand essentially. But anyway, I'm on the second book. It is very easy to listen to. It is filling that hole in my brain that needs entertaining while I do other things, but when I'm also just needing a break because it doesn't take any brain power. So it's nice and easy to listen to. I'm telling you this because that's primarily all I have read today because I did that thing where <laughs> the dopamine hits and you just got to follow it. You've just got to send it. And I ended up cleaning out the entire linen cupboard, most of our second linen cupboard, the junk drawers at the front door, and all of the dog toys. And I could have kept going, but it is now quarter past seven at night, and I have spent the better part of my day just organizing and cleaning, which has been nourishing for my soul. I've had the best time, but I... <laughs> didn't do really any of the things that I had planned to do today, which included reading and finishing Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. The night is still young. We can still make progress. We're going to see if we can smash it out. And then we can start tomorrow on If I Never Met You. So now we're here, we've made it to the end. It is a full week and a bit later. I have finished five books in that time. We finished listening to Crave and Crush by Tracy Wolf. If you are going to read the series and if you like 
Twilight, Zodiac Academy, A Court of Thorns and Roses, a little bit. You might like this. However, they are disgustingly long and listening to them is probably the best way to do it. We are currently reading number three. I finished reading A Man Called Ove and I am pleased that I read it. It is probably one of my new favorite books. I wanna say thank you Blair for making me read it. <laughs> it's one of those books that, similar to Before the Coffee Gets Cold, which is the book that I made Blair read. It's one of the more humbling, this is, my life and I'm happy with the life I have and living a non-purpose filled meaningful human existence. We finished reading The Moth Keeper which has become one of my favorite graphic novels. Wow we had a really strong reading week. It was sweet. It was gorgeous. I love moths. It was perfect. We made progress on our buddy read with Kirsty. We were reading The Priory of the Orange Tree. I have not read any more since the last time I told you that I had read and done my due diligence. I'm still confused. I still have no idea what's happening and I still don't like the Queen. And probably the most surprising surprising book that I finished in this week was Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. The first half to two thirds did drag. It was work for my brain to figure out what was happening. Once I accepted that it was a romance and when I just let the story wash over me and I stopped trying to analyze every single thing that was happening, it became really enjoyable. And I really quite enjoyed the end third of the book. It got to the point where Jared was like, let's watch a movie. And I was like, mm -mm, gotta finish this book. And so here we are. We read about five books in a week. We had a birthday. We ended up in hospital. We spent three full days with family and completed a home task that's been on my list for a very long time. And I feel so nourished. I feel so fulfilled. I feel like I've done all of the domains that I needed to do to feel rested and refresh for a weekend. So regardless of the chaotic nature of how this week went, I think that it actually went really, really well. I'm really pleased with how I feel about this week, which is not how I feel after a lot of weeks. So that's saying something. But that is also the end of this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for sticking it around if you've made it this far because she's been all over the place. We've been a bit wild. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you're having a fantastic day or night or whatever time it is where you are in the world. And I will see you next week. Goodbye.